Hey everybody, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today, and welcome back to our continuing San Diego Comic-Con 2019 coverage. Yesterday we had a ton of videos out there, we had a really long live stream at the end of the night, in fact, going over everything we saw, uh, and there was so much that we still haven't even covered yet. So of course today, day two of the con officially, is going to be a very long day for us as well. So let's start things off with a pretty big reveal that came to us from Hasbro yesterday. Now we did already talk about the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Series 2 that came out, but Hasbro's other really, really big property, aside from Transformers, I'd say, is the Marvel Legends uh, toys. And uh, we now have official pictures of Marvel Avengers Endgame Wave 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, as well as who is the very cool Build-A-Figure in that wave. Starting with over here, we have Iron Man in his brand new armor. That's uh, the Mark 85 armor. Yes. So he's going to come with a few different hands here, you'll see there, uh, including the Infinity Gauntlet hand which uh, is enormous and looks really cool, but he comes with a bunch of different power shots. He's got four of them, in fact, you can see in the package next to him. Uh, we have three different hands, and there is one of the arms for Bro Thor as well. Uh, I actually haven't bought an Iron Man figure in quite some time. I wait for one that really strikes my fancy, and I think that's the one to do it. Up next, here is Captain America, but you might notice this is not the Cap you saw in Avengers Endgame. This is actually Cap from the very first Avengers movie. He's wearing the outfit that Coulson designed for him, that first the only time we ever saw him wear that terrible outfit, although I actually liked it. Um, but that's the first time and really the only time we ever saw him in this particular outfit. So you're going to have a chance to get him. Uh, he comes with a shield, and he can, comes with another arm for Bro Thor. And, uh, you know, I think we've seen his head sculpt before, but it still looks good to me. Now here we have the Iron Patriot, which is uh, essentially a repaint of the previous War Machine armor that came out in the earlier waves. But he's going to have two Brothor heads with him. Uh, one with the sunglasses, so you could have him pretending to fall asleep. And one with his eyes open, where he's wide awake. Is he aware of what's going on? That's a different story. But uh, nonetheless, this Iron Patriot does look really cool. Just for being a repaint and all, with the extra stuff that's on him, uh, it looks really cool. I think this is going to be the War Machine I pick up. Uh, I'm a big War Machine style fan, and that's really the one I I'm into. Uh, now here we have Paul Bettany and his Vision gear. It's the Vision, Marvel's Vision as they're calling it here. He comes with Stormbreaker, which is really cool. Uh, he's going to have a plastic molded cape along with him, and he gets the body for Bro Thor. So, uh, you know, I don't think we had a figure of the Vision for a little while. Uh, it's been a bit since he's had a toy, but this one looks really nice. Uh, I like the colors of the plastic cape, and I especially appreciate that he comes with Stormbreaker. Uh, again, the, the head sculpt on him is very good. Hasbro always nails it with the head sculpts for these guys. And again, another one that they did a great job with here is Idris Elba as Heimdall. And uh, he comes with one of the legs for Bro Thor, as you can see there. He also has his really large sword, uh, which I think it's called Hofung. Uh, that just sounds like a Chinese food takeout thing, but it's something like that. You guys can correct me in the chat if you know better what it actually is called. Because uh, I'm doing a terrible job of pronouncing it. But Heimdall is joining the wave, and uh, again, he looks good. He's a little bit long overdue for a figure as well. I'm kind of surprised it took us this long to get him too. But alas, we finally have him. And rounding out the wave, Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie. She comes with Thor's other leg, and this is her in her full-on Valkyrie gear now. This is her, like, as the proud protector of Odin and Odin's son. She comes with her sword, uh, as well as a scabbard for it. She also will have the plastic-molded cape, and uh, this just looks really good. You know, I think the only Valkyrie figure we had before this was actually a two-pack from Ragnarok with Thor. So now this is their chance to get her as a single figure in her proper Valkyrie armor, which I think looks amazing. So, again, this is... Avengers Endgame Wave 3, but that's not all, of course, because we have to take a look at <laughs> Bro Thor on his own. So let's go ahead and take a look at him real quickly. Boop, bop, bip. There you go, folks. This is Bro Thor in all of his Bro Thor glory. So he can still wield <laughs> Stormbreaker, as you can see in this picture. Uh, these pictures came to us from Hasbro directly, so this is their shots of how it's tended to be. Uh, and Brothor is looking pretty good here. I mean, I, I was wondering how they would do Brothor if they're even going to make a toy of him, because there's going to be all these new pieces they have to make and all sorts of stuff. And lo and behold, here he is. He's got the robe. <laughs> He's got Stormbreaker. He's going to have two heads, as we saw earlier. The other head is him with the sunglasses on. Brothor is amazing. You know, I, I haven't bought a single full wave ever of any of the Marvel Legends, even though I've been tempted very much here and there. Uh, this, again, could be one of those that I actually do, just because I want Bro Thor. And I think I, I'm speaking for many other fans out there. We're all going to want to get our hands on Bro Thor. So, 
Uh, this wave was basically announced during San Diego Comic-Con 2019, and uh, at the Hasbro Breakfast, I believe, it was actually on display as well. So let's take a look at a few of these guys loose and just hanging out. And here you can see there is Bro Thor on display. You can see him with the other head on him that's the one with the sunglasses, which looks really nice. Uh, next to him on the floor is his normal head. Uh, and you'll see a few photos here uh, of basically all the guys loose, but I didn't take any pictures for them in package, although they are available at this event. Uh, and these pictures came to us from MarvelousNews.com. You can see their watermark above in the left corner of these pictures. So if you do want to see more photos of all these guys uh, from different angles as well as them and their packaging, do head over to MarvelousNews.com. I don't want to take all of their photos, of course, and I shouldn't. So please go there, support their website, because they are actually at SDCC, and they're taking these great pictures that you're seeing right now in this video. So here is another shot of the Iron Patriot. You can see a little more of the detail of uh, some of the decals he has on his arm there. You can see that uh, War Machine logo, the Air Force logo. Uh, you can see a little bit more of the various attachments he has, the weapons he has popping out. He's got like, two rocket launchers on his shoulders, like, two laser cannons, a mounted weapon on each of his gauntlets, and then the rocket thighs, for lack of a better term. I don't know what to even call them. I'm just going to call them rocket thighs. Over here, another shot of Bro Thor. This version is him with his sunglasses on again. And, uh, you know, Chris Hemsworth did a great job as Bro Thor, as, as Big Lebowski Thor, and he really deserves a figure. I think uh, everybody can really feel his story, the fact that, you know, he was still worthy to wield the hammer, to wield Mjolnir, even though he felt he wasn't. That says something right there. It's a character I think a lot of folks can relate to. I think it's got a lot of love for Bro Thor. So this figure is well-deserved. Uh, here's a picture of the Vision, and you can get a better idea now of the texture and the type of plastic they're using here for Vision, which is, um, in some cases, a little bit more of this translucent plastic. So you can see that in the face, in the hands, and in the boots. Uh, I don't think the body is that translucent, but you can see there are certain elements of it that are translucent. They're kind of see-through, so you can kind of light them up from behind. Um, it'll look really cool. I think this is going to be a cool figure for figure photography and for any photographers out there who do some really interesting things with him. Uh, the cape is not translucent, however, but uh, I think it's still going to be, you know, it's not like opaque translucent, but you'll be able to get some light through it. Uh, here's the Iron Man Mark 85 armor. You know, I, I liked this one a lot in the movie. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but when I actually saw it in the movie, I thought it looked pretty darn good. So uh, I really want to get my hands on this guy. There's been so many great Iron Man toys out there. Uh, you know, the downside is this one does not have like a battle damage Tony Stark head. I thought we were going to get another Robert Downey Jr. head out of this figure, but we're getting already a lot of other accessories. We're getting lots of different hands. Four different power bolts coming out of his hands, and of the Infinity Gauntlet glove that he has there in the bottom right corner. So he comes with a lot of stuff to begin with, and there is the glove that we're speaking of. Now, uh, the big question is, does that fit other people's hands? That I'm not too sure about, because, you know, we have uh, the Smart Hulk out there as well, and uh, I don't know if it fits him or not. That I haven't gotten an answer on, but if anybody out there uh, is in the comment section and knows for sure, let us know if that actually does fit on other characters. I would assume that it would fit in other people's hands. Uh, if you can pop your hands out, I'm pretty sure that you can. But a character like the Hulk again, that one I wonder about. Uh, here's another shot of Valkyrie now on her own. You can see her. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool figure. I like most toys that have white and gold deco. Uh, you know, I, I said it yesterday, in fact, in the Overwatch video when we were looking at the McCree and the Tracer, who essentially have like the exact same colors that Valkyrie has here. And I thought it was really cool, and I think it looks good here too. White and gold is just a good combination. And uh, this is a, a truly worthy figure to be added into the Marvel Legends line. And again, you can see a better shot now of her plastic molded cape, which looks, again, it kind of matches color restored. This looks really good. Uh, another shot of Heimdall now. Uh, Heimdall, I, I can never say his name right. How bad is that? Here's Idris Elba. Let's just call it the Idris Elba figure with a big sword. Uh, it's, it's also kind of a cool figure because it fits in with a lot of other lines because it is kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to call it plain, but he fits into like a lot of fantasy type toys, uh, toy lines, so he's a guy that could almost kind of sort of fit into Mythic Legions if you wanted to push it a little bit, uh, you know, he could fit into a lot of other toy lines, which is cool, because he just looks like a fantasy character, uh, and that's just cool, and here's a shot of Captain America, America's ass, so of course they had to, like, turn him this way so you could see his butt, uh, unfortunately his butt is not as glorious here as it is in the movies, what can you do about that, but, uh, you know, it still looks good, I, I feel like this suit is probably the least flattering of all of his costumes, but... You know, I don't think Cap fell that way, especially when you consider the scene and what happened here. So, yeah, it was a really great throwback in the movie. If you haven't seen the movie yet, by the way, I don't know why you're even watching this video, because you're going to get spoiled in some stuff here, and I feel like at this point, you've made it, like, what, 10 minutes into this thing? You're going to be really, really spoiled at this point. So, sorry about that if you didn't see Avengers Endgame yet, but that's on you. Uh, another picture of uh, Valkyrie here. 
And a better shot of all the texture and just a really great paint job with this white and gold deco. Uh, you know, I almost bought the two pack that they had together with Thor and her in the, in the first place, but I wasn't too into the outfits. This one I am way into. And again, that is a theme you're going to hear me say about Marvel Legends. I almost bought because I almost bought them many a times, and I usually just don't because I'm like, I don't want to start collecting these. It's a constant struggle that I have, and uh, I think I'm going to start losing that battle very soon because um, this whole Avengers Endgame series, every, every single wave so far, has actually been very, very strong. And I've basically avoided buying all the other figures throughout the past waves because I was like, oh, I don't want that one, I don't want that one, but this is it. This is Endgame. So we're not going to really, really get another uh, Tony Stark Iron Man as you know Robert Downey Jr. for quite some time. We're not going to get another... Chris Evans, Captain America for quite some time. So I feel like this is pretty much the wave to get to stock up on anybody that you've missed out on for some time because it's going to be a long time before we see these guys again, most likely. This this kind of is the last hurrah, and that's why Endgame as a wave is now into wave three. And uh, who knows if it's going to keep going or not, but, you know, it's going to come to a close, I'm sure, very, very soon. They've got a lot of loose ends to tie up in terms of toys and figures and characters who are going to be made into figures. So, uh, you know, I think it's time, if you've been like me holding out, now is the time to pick up some Marvel Legends figures. So uh, that is our quick look at Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Series 3. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this rotating gallery here, these Lucy's. So again, thank you to MarvelousNews.com for these pictures. If you want to see a lot more photos of them, go to their website, check them out, and support them, because they are actually at SDCC. I'm just a schlub at my house doing these streams in my, my little makeshift studio, my temporary studio here. So uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the views. Make sure that you are liking, you're sharing, and you're subscribing to this channel because we're going to be doing a lot more videos throughout SDCC weekend because there's so much more news. So make sure to... I always get mixed up. They're on that side. They're right there across the bro Thor. Follow us on all those links there. We appreciate your time for watching this today. And please stay tuned. We've got plenty more news coming from SDCC 2019 throughout the weekend. Thank you. See you guys later.